set. Hut. Okay, sit. Okay, now see. Every move third-year Manitoba Bisons player Evan Gill makes is being looked at more closely this season. He's being moved to a more inside position on the defensive line than he's played in previous years for the team. It's good so far. Uh, I mean, D-line's still D-line, but uh, it is a little bit different perspective to get used to. Like, I mean, playing on the edge, you're a little bit more space to work in, especially in the pass rush, and now you're kind of thrown into a little tunnel that you got to work in, so it's a little bit of a change, but I'm starting to get used to it day by day, so it's good. Okay, listen to this. Okay, Bammy and free safeties if they run Z out 84 to the field. Well, Bammy, if it's Z out 84 to the, to the boundary. Defensive okay. coordinator Stan Pierre says the move is used to take advantage of Gill's size. You know, our goal is always trying to get the best four guys on the field, and uh, we thought that would help us. And we think just in his future, I mean, it, it, he's moving down there eventually. He's, he's going to be 290 pounds without trying. So, I mean, his, his future at end was, was bleak. Gill's future will be anything but bleak if he excels in his new position. He is already well aware of Bison alumni who pushed and tackled their way into professional football. When I came into the program, I always kind of had the um, thought that I was going to end up inside with uh, previous players like uh, Don, Donnie O and, and Edmonton and uh, Eddie Steele with Hamilton in the CFL. It's kind of one of those things that I'll probably end up preparing me better for the CFL in the long run and just be one of those things that would probably be beneficial to me. So, There is a lot of work to do before Gill can reach the professional ranks. And right now he's working on taking the first step, literally. Uh, the big change is just been working on my first step. Uh, when I'm on the edge, I can kind of see things a little bit slower. Uh, so when someone makes a step to me, I can adjust to it a little bit slower than on the inside as opposed to they make a quick step when the offensive lineman gets going, you got to be with them. So uh, the big change is just getting used to that, get that quick first step back and starting to get, I'm starting to get used to it now, so it's pretty good. Gill is seeing some success already, but Pierre says the young defensive player will have a lot of different formations to get used to. His space is constricted in terms of his pass rush as well. So, I mean, he's got two guys beside him. Uh, so he's got a real skinny lane to get through in his pass rush. So his moves have to be uh, quite a bit quicker and, uh, and maybe not set up as much as he does in the, in the outside at the rush. It's, it's apples and oranges, the two positions. So it's going to take him some time, but he's, uh, he's, he's going to be fine in the end. For Shaw TV in Winnipeg, I'm Mitchell Clinton.